Drinking. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Anime Drinking. Oh, you don't know the name of the podcast? I don't know the name of the podcast, no. It goes like this. <clears throat> what you doing? I'm DC and this is Alcohol Anime! The podcast where every other week I watch an anime film or show or whatever I plan on watching with one of my friends while we drink and then we record this podcast while we drink even more. And this time I have with me my friend, Carlos. Yeah, not strong answer you got there. Yeah, I, I like your intro better. You should just add mine in there. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, no, we're definitely starting with yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great one. It fits. It's, <laughs> it, it fits the ambiance, the essence of what we're doing here. Oh, it fits like the whole theme of whatever of this podcast perfectly. It's because it's all about alcohol. And we, I mean, we've been drinking, of course. I wouldn't say we drank a whole lot compared to our old days, whatever. Nope, we're getting not. old. But this is the second this is the second episode of the podcast, so starting something off like that is great for me, <laughs> in my opinion, because I love kind of like a mess. But yeah, this is the second episode of Alcohol My Anime, and I was, I'm really glad I have Carly with me because this is, weirdly, of all the podcasts I've done, only the second live where we're both together, I've always done them. Um, over Zoom or Discord, so it's finally great to hang out with another human being after <laughs> a year and a half of uh, staring at a screen. Uh, so, what we ended up watching, and it's a really stupid thing on my part, and I did it on purpose because I want to keep this theme of alcohol and anime really dumb, not stupid, but kind of dumb and silly, is we watched Haikyuu. The one of the movies I, I'm doing air quotes, but because it's weird to call it a movie, but it's the it's the third movie, uh, Haikyuu the movie Talent and Sense, which is the first half of the second season. And this is stupid because I have not seen any of Haikyuu. Uh, Carlos, you have, right? I I finished the whole thing. I've caught up to it. Yeah. As far as the anime does, I don't read mangas because I'm not that much of a weeb. But oh, so much better. It's probably a lot better. Though. But the podcast is alcohol anime, not alcohol manga. So let the record hey, show. I will say that. <laughs> I will be completely down if someone wanted to weirdly read manga while we drank together. Then just make it marijuana manga. Ooh. <laughs> future future <laughs> podcast idea: marijuana and manga. But it's kind of it doesn't roll off the tongue as much. But I like I'll be down for that too. But yeah, so I knew since you watched this, I was like, okay, what if we watch one of these movies, which is really just a compilation of the second season, and then have you on to judge if it was even worth watching, and then it'll be for on my part, I was like. It'll be, it's stupid because I haven't seen the first season. This is the first half of the second season. I have no idea what's going on. I am judging it on whether it's even a decent movie with absolutely no other standards for the series. Uh, because I've watched... I watch these kind of compilation films. And every time I do it, it's a series I've already watched. So it's like, yeah, I've already seen this. I know what's happening. This is completely like, is this even a movie that's worth watching if I haven't seen it? So we're going to talk about that kind of stuff, but since this is alcohol in anime, we're going to start with the first thing in the title, and we're going to talk about alcohol. Uh, so, first thing first, it was like, okay, how do I think of a alcoholic volleyball-themed drink? So I just decided to spike all of Carlos's drinks. Um, the surprise to you, they should have kicked in already, but the drugs should be coming. <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably happen when I start driving home. Yeah. <laughs> Best uh, case scenario. Best case scenario. No, um, no, I think that's illegal to illegal or to unknowingly drug somebody. I did want to do the stupid thing of, I mean, I already told you this, Carlos, but I just want to take um, our drinks and literally spike them like a volleyball, which I haven't done. I might do it still just to be stupid and say I've done it. But, okay, so. Before we started the movie, we, we each had our own little drunk. I had me a glass of crown apple, and you had... What did you? I had some weird... Like, I had Malibu mango. Malibu's great. If you don't like Malibu, get the fuck out of here. Uh, <laughs> okay. And I also had some yeah, of that, that good. Cran, cran apple. Mix that together. It was the weirdest thing, and I can't describe the taste of it. I recommend you to try it. Remember, it is cran apple with 
Mango Malibu. So let me know what I think you think. It was Ocean Spray. Ocean Spray. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Like, smash that subscribe button. And uh, <laughs> let, me, let me know what it tastes like. Yeah, do all that. <laughs> no, that is a real... No, that's a good point you make. Always let us know if you try this stuff we talk about. Um... I don't know. I assume there's comments, or if there's not comments, you can email me at the podcast. Uh, I don't know. The, podcast or... Yeah, I don't know. I, I've done made a few of these, and I still don't know. It, you can email me whatever your thoughts and answer these questions at DAC Stories at Gmail. But what we ended up switching to after that weirdness is shamefully, shamefully on my part, because. Um, I I mean we're both now drinking White Claw, which for me seems like such a basic drink now. It's blew up in popularity, but there was a reason behind it because I wanted a spiked drink, and it seems like all alcohol is spiked if you think about it. But no, no, no. I mean, that's, I mean, not, that's, not, that's not what it means. Spiking I mean, something is changing something. Like a beer is not spiked. Yeah, I mean that's true. Everything. But when you think of like mixed drinks, when people spike a drink, they Oh, or like spike punch it's just they're just adding probably like vodka something too. yeah but so what i did is i went to the store and i just looked for any alcohol that has spiked in the name or the description and white claw does uh i'm not a huge fan of white claw i know you said you like it yeah. Um, Speaking of which, thank you, White Claw, for sponsoring no. the podcast today. <laughs> White Claw is not sponsoring it. this podcast. Thank you so much. Truly is also sponsoring this podcast. Hey, which is great. <laughs> like, anyone can sponsor this podcast. I'm pretty sure I actually do have a sponsor. Oh, I don't have a sponsor yet. I'm pretty sure I will have a sponsor Dang. eventually um, because they sponsor my other podcast. What you doing, podcast? Um, and if they do, I don't know. But I would love if any alcohol, really anybody, regardless even if they're alcohol or not, if they sponsor this, if any alcohol companies out there, if you sponsored this podcast, we will drink whatever you make, and I will enjoy it. <laughs> I I say that, but I will enjoy free alcohol, regardless of what it is. Uh, but White Claw, no, I, you're fine. You're not my favorite. You can still sponsor me if you want. Um, it's just I'm not a huge seltzer guy. I feel like I like um, a lot of flavor. The, the thing, the thing, and okay. seltzers are white alike. claw for all you white claw lovers out there. You have bad taste. Sorry. <laughs> truly is the way to go. <laughs> truly, I, I, oh, okay. I think Truly's are great. I think Truly's are really good. And me, since I've been in Oklahoma for the past few years, I don't know if you know this, knew this, but Sonic now has seltzers. Mm-mm. Sonic has seltzers. I didn't know that. Seltzers. I cause me are, being in Hawaii really don't have Sonic. <laughs> that's good for you. But yeah, in Oklahoma, and that's where Sonic's from. I didn't know. Which that ironically, either. the worst Sonics ever been to are in Oklahoma. Anywho, the seltzers are really good. They have like all the flavors, you know, ocean, ocean water. They got that the cherry lime, you know, raspberry lemonade, like all those flavors. Really, really good. Top notch. Recommend ten out of ten. But anywho. Apparently, this podcast is sponsored by Sonic now, too. Yeah, sp- okay. so- sponsored by Sonic, and what other seltzers are there? Uh, um, Four Locos is... Uh... <laughs> Four Locos. <laughs> Those are terrible. Sorry, Four Loco. If you want to sponsor this, you're going to have to give me a lot to convince me <laughs> to change my mind. It's alcohol, and I will drink it. That, that doesn't matter. <laughs> but Four Loco. <laughs> okay. So I end up with White Claw because uh, it says it says Spike Sparkling Water. So it's fine. It has spiked in the name. Probably I will go out and actually spike one into the ground. I don't know when I'm going to spike it into the ground, but I'm, it's going in the ground, and I will drink it. Uh, it's a, I don't know. It's a dumb thing I want to do. Is like a I don't know behind the scenes kind of thing that'd be fun for people to watch if I ever actually put them out. Um, you can see some of them on my social medias. I've done stupid shit and whatever. Uh, DAC stories or D on Instagram. It's the underscore AC underscore stories if you want to see all that. But, but besides the White Claw, instead of me just being basic and getting these already pre-made drinks, what I wanted to do was make my own drinks. But there are not any volleyball themed flavored drinks I could find or could think of. And the more I thought about it, the 
harder it was to make any sense of it. I don't. Have you ever heard of any well, volleyball? You can literally make anything like a drink, and people will buy it. Okay, you know? but volleyball flavor, volleyball not volleyball, volleyball have flavor. flavor. <laughs> it's not a flavor. But volleyball themed. Volleyball themed. Okay, so here we go. When you think of volleyball, what do you think of? A uh, volleyball. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, like, no, no, but I'm being real. Do you think about the location? Do you think about the beach? Or do you think about the court? Well, we we watch. I bet it doesn't, matter, it doesn't matter what we watched. What do you think about when you think of volleyball? You think of beach volleyball. Well, right? I lived in Hawaii for five years. Exactly. So it's, so it's a beach. So, okay, well, there you go. Okay, there you go. So you can make something tropical mm. and then spike the hell out of it and just call it a volley punch. Volley punch. Ooh. Boom, done. That actually sounds put some, put, cool. some Ma- put some Malibu in there, some coconut rum, mango. Malibu's in there. Caribbean, though. Hawaii. Hawaii volley, beach volleyball is Pacific. What's a Pacific um, liquor? It literally does not matter. <laughs> I don't know it doesn't matter. Uh, but I thought about that too, but because it's high Q, I was trying to think of court volleyball or indoor. But no, you're right. I you mean, if you want to do something to be Gatorade with a drink. I was thinking of that too, like a sport, a spike sports mm-hmm, spike drink. Sports drink. Yep. Like Gatorade or Parade. I was thinking about the team, I thought about doing that. But then I was like, yeah, I don't really want to drink Gatorade or Parade. It will probably be fine. I don't know, but like an actual nice cocktail. I can't think of anything. Literally, I, I said, but when you asked me, I really do just think of volleyball. When I think of a drink, all I can think about is a volleyball. I, I can't think of anything else. But, uh, so, yeah, sports drink, but then that's... So, yeah, so leave a comment down below, smash that like button, subscribe... <laughs> <laughs> come, make, come up with your own volleyball drink. Let us know in the comments below. And uh, we'll try them. Even though we won't be together in person, we'll probably do another podcast and we'll try it. Yeah, that's true. We, <laughs> we will. Uh, I'm glad you're doing all this stuff because I, I would have said that all that stuff anyways. We don't brief. I didn't brief you on all that stuff. No, I just do it anyways. I do it Good. as a meme. Uh, a so. meme. Okay, yeah. Meme has... Can you meme voices? Yeah, you're doing like a thing. like. But they can't see us. I guess they're it's, match it Okay, too. so when you read a meme, you know, yeah, you know, it's always those YouTubers who are like really bad. It's like, don't forget, guys, before <laughs> you watch the video, be sure to smash, smash, put a comment down below and subscribe. That way, you can earn your seven thousand dollars. You know, yeah. yeah so yes, exactly, all the stuff uh, Carlos was saying, put it over a high uh picture or something. Make that into a meme because that will fit the theme of the podcast, I guess. On the, I haven't seen enough of it to know if there's a scene like that that would fit perfectly. But yeah, do exactly what he said. Like, subscribe, comment, email, uh, share, word of mouth. I think that's something I forget to say in my podcast is tell people about this podcast. Especially if you like drinking or if you like alcohol. That's the same thing. <laughs> if you like anime, if you like alcohol and anime, this is the podcast for you. And uh, you don't even have to... Yeah, we watched a movie. This isn't a review podcast. This is supposed to be more entertaining and just us being dumb and drinking while we enjoy uh, hanging out. And the movie, that's just a segue into what we're doing. We're yeah. talk about it. Yeah, if you don't like alcohol or anime, fuck off. Like, that's all I can say. Like, why are you here? I couldn't have said it better myself, really. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I mean, oh, maybe, maybe never you mind. <laughs> I'm not changing my mind. <laughs> fuck off if you don't like the... No. I mean, thank you if for some reason you don't like alcohol or anime or are still listening to this. I, either you're being supportive out of the kindness of your heart, or you're very confused and don't know why you're listening to this either. <laughs> but thank sometimes, you regardless. Sometimes those are the greatest rabbit holes, you know? Uh, no, I've gotten in some deep rabbit holes from random things, but I don't even get in. That's a whole different podcast for that. Uh, so, I don't know. Can you drink something now of volleyball? I think of like cracking a volleyball open like a coconut and then drinking like that. I don't think that's a real thing. I feel like that'd be gross. I don't know what the inside of a volleyball tastes like, but I don't want to taste I'm it. I'm sure it's plastic. Oh, man, I'm having a real... Is it plastic? Actually. I guess so. Uh, yeah, I'm, this is the hardest one. Uh, I'm, I try to think of themed drinks. I just can't think of a, something that is specifically volleyball. Because even if we went the like sports drink route... Mm-hmm. That could apply to any sport, not just specifically volleyball. If we think of like a, you know, beach volleyball route. Oh, it's made of leather. Oh, like a okay. 
Soft uh, leather. That's so we can have a cow drink. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, a meaty cow drink. That doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, I can't think of a uniquely volleyball drink. So, I'm just going to say anything spiked. And if you want to literally spike it, like I hope I'm going to remember to do with one of these white claws later, spike it right into that ground. Uh, I think that makes the, even the best words and stuff to say about that. It's true. It's true. Because <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, I don't remember how many white claws I have. Um, You're on uh, uh, four, and I'm on four. Are we only on four? I, I think the drinks we had before we started mattered. But let's actually talk about talk about haiku. I keep wanting to say haiku, but haiku and volleyball. Mainly volleyball. Yeah, because the Olympics are happening right now, right? Oh, yeah, the Olympics are yeah. happening. I haven't seen any of the volleyball stuff yet, though. Neither have I. Wow, so that dates this um, sometime in volleyball, or not sometime in volleyball, sometime in L- J- Japan Olympics 2020 and 2021. Yep. Uh, and today, actually, the semifinals against Brazil and Russia, Ooh. which is 11 o'clock central time, and tomorrow, 7 a.m., France versus Argentina. Oh. Yep, and unfortunately for uh, those... American fan. I don't think we ever made it through. <laughs> that no, that's for the men. Sorry. I just named off the men's. Um, the females. Um, tomorrow, 11 p.m., Serbia and United States mm. faced off in the semifinals. And Brazil versus South Korea, 7 a.m. So Ooh. tomorrow we'll find out if Dang, come on, watch it. U.S. gets, gets medal. I don't know, has the U.S. had a good volleyball team? I guess they would. Women's is pretty pretty good. Men's not so much. I don't know. I never never watched real volleyball, professional volleyball. Yeah, It's insane. You know, actually, watching this anime has, like, made (laughs) watching volleyball, I I appreciate it a lot more. Mm. Just because um, the accuracy in this anime is actually really good. Like I've seen some video footage of a, you know a Olympic volleyball player watching it, and he was like, "Oh yeah, we do that. Oh yeah, that's actually like mm. it happens. It's rare, but it happens." And this and this and this. And he talks about all the stuff that goes on with it, and I was like, "Oh shoot, okay." So like, I I started watching a few volleyball clips, but I have not been keeping it with the Olympics, just because I'm not a big Olympic pl- person, I guess. Yeah, I'm not really much either. I know for those of you listening. Uh, the Philippines won their first gold medal. That's Completely right. off topic in uh, women's weightlifting. So not only do we have beautiful women, they're also strong. Some of the strongest women. Which isn't surprising to us, but to the rest of the world, now they know. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but, yeah, this for this movie, though, it's... Because I've already seen it all, before, I haven't actually watched the movie yet. So with this movie... I, since I've already seen it, it's it, it doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Just because, you know, I've had, I've had to explain to the MC here um, mm. that I had to explain basically what leads up to it. You know, you have, a, you know, the, the protagonist, you know, Hinata and Kagayama, you know, how they got to where they are, what school they're at, who they want to be, what they want to accomplish and stuff. Um, and so it just kind of takes them already to... It focuses on their lost against uh, Seijo uh, and now they're playing against each other again uh, in order to get to the Nationals um, spoiler mm. no spoilers thank you for reminding me spoiler alert I always forget I, I, I'll for, usually forget that until about maybe the last third of the anime okay. or last third of the podcast I'm getting all mixed up uh, so this podcast will have spoilers uh, it's an hour long usually, or around that long, so that's what you should expect. But thank you for reminding me. There's gonna be spoilers. Anyways, continue. You're welcome, listeners. I got you. Um, I will spoil it. So yeah, well. you know, spoilers. You know, they the Karasuno is what uh, you know the protagonist teams are in, and you know they come out on top and they win. You know, which is great. Uh, but the thing about the movie is like they, you know, like AC was talking about is. <laughs> nice is that 
they put a whole like a season and a half into like an hour and a half movie. And these episodes are like 20, 25 minutes long. So like it does not do it justice. Do we? Have, how long's the season? Um, yeah. I don't know. I'll let you look that up while I'm doing okay. this. Okay, you talk. Um, they are. So yeah, but it's like it's only twelve. Ooh, no, it is a. Yeah, it's like a twenty-five episode season. So that's twelve episodes. This movie is supposed to cover. Yep, and it covered. It was fast, <laughs> and it was just very fast paced. You you don't really get to see um, the players grow. Like another anime that I like to compare it to, as far as like character development, is My Hero Academia. Mm. Um, Haikyuu really does a good job of like highlighting the characters in a way. That's like it gives these characters like their special moment, like their moment, like oh, I'm gonna do this and this. Unlike you know, Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, like it doesn't allow other characters to really shine a whole lot. The only time Somewhere. they shine is when it's you know filler episodes. You know, they've had some good moments. I mean, oh, no, I mean, I'm going to disagree with Naruto because Naruto, they have a lot, a good moments with a lot of the characters. Yeah, but how often does it happen though? And that's the thing in. Haiku, it happens all the time because as oh, a volleyball team, it happens. They they play all the time together. It's, all, it's a six man team. Mm. In Naruto, you can only, you really only need like maybe like two people to really beat an enemy or whatever. You know, uh, in Naruto, it literally takes everyone, but <laughs> it, it focuses on Naruto. Yeah, yeah. And but I, I'm talking about like think of the tuning exams. We can see a lot of cool stuff, and then the when they go to try to retrieve Sasuke when he gets taken. The okay, first Naruto, time, we get okay. to see like Choji, the first Naruto. And all of, OG. Shippuden, it kind yeah, of threw them Shippuden. all under the bus. Yeah, that's true. And except for um, Shikamaru. This, we're on completely there. Shikamaru, yeah. <laughs> after Asuma dies. Spoilers for Naruto, if you haven't seen it. When, after Asuma dies, and Shikamaru has his like moment. That's true. That is that's true. true. But yeah, besides that. No, Sakura has a good moment with uh, the puppet dude. Uh, Sar- yeah, but Sar- that's because, like, anywho, we're off topic. Yeah, we're off topic. We're going back to uh, uh, volleyball you. stuff. It gives everyone a chance. You see their growth. You see what they're working on. And they all have their moment that they shine, which is really cool. Like, My Hero Academia he does it to everyone, too. Everyone has their moment. You see them all train. And then you have their one moment of glory, which is really good. And they keep that up the entire season. They don't just toss them out. Because volleyball is a six-man team. So, you know they have to work together, which is going to be which is hard, in my opinion, to figure out how to write or animate because you have to make everyone look good as the protagonist. That way it's not it, it's not just showing that those two are carrying the team. So, but in my opinion, I love it. The soundtrack is really good, by the way. It's super, super good. You um, compared that to My Hero Academia also. Yeah, the, the soundtrack is very similar to My Hero. Uh, you hear uh, fragments of You Say Run um, in there a few times and you hear some like jazz funk stuff in there for some reason. And the soundtrack's really, really good. And so are their uh, their OPs. OPs are really good. Um, they're all they're all played by. That's um, a, another weird thing I realized. They didn't really have an OP or no. ending. Uh, or Burnout Syndromes is a really great band that movie. they that they always write OPs for. Super, super good. Super great. Oh, that's um, weird. But yeah, what do you have to say about the movie since you just dove in head first? Um. Uh, I was going to talk about volleyball in general, first, but the movie, yeah, because I, I said at the beginning, I didn't see the first season. This takes place in the second season. I was, I did that on purpose. Uh, it kind of worked. It started. It just started. <laughs> like there was no, there was no opening credits. There was nothing. It just started. Here you go. And I was like, I don't know what. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Okay. I was expecting. I don't know more. Uh, something and it was just going and they're like they were in the middle of training matches or practice matches Is it, that what it, it picks up where they oh. lost the first time to uh Seijo. the oh, first okay. time they lost and so that was a little confusing i was expecting like a, at least some kind of opening and um yeah that was it it was just starting it was going and i was like Okay, here we are. And it wasn't until really they started their actual match with that. You said Seijo? Wait, what was the name of it? Uh, that I was like, okay, this is where the actual movie is. And then the rest of it is pretty much just that match with them. Even that, like you said, it's it kind of just rushes through it. Yeah, it does. I really had to put him up the face and be like, hey, 
this is what's happening, this is what's going on here, and the characters who are doing stuff, here's what's been, you know, really had to catch them out, which is unfortunate, but I mean, and, and this, this is what I kind of picked up too, this is the first, like, anime movie I watched, um, but like, that's part of a series, should I say. Right. And it's like, this is the first anime movie? Well, uh, no, 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 not the first, okay. like, and I, I've seen, like, Spirit of the Way and all that okay, stuff. Okay, yeah. I'm talking about, like, an anime you. movie that's, like, a part of a series. Oh, okay, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. And so, like, oh. from what I understand... You know what? Because what? Uh, the internet exists, you were right, it is the same composer. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, so... Yes, we're using... <laughs> confirmed, uh, IQ and My Hero Academia have the same composer for the soundtracks. Nice. So, I, I'm putting my master, masters into work. Yeah, me too. Not with this, but I've done it before. <laughs> um, I use my Google and fingers. Yeah, but the thing with, with the movie that doesn't make sense to me with Haikyuu is that they just basically repeat the season that they just did. Which doesn't make sense to me because you have movies like Naruto that don't overlap rarely with the episodes, right? Not really. Not really. And they're not yes. really canon either. Not really. And then uh, you have, you know... Are you talking, oh, wait, you're talking about movies, right? Yeah, movies. Yeah, the movies yeah, are yeah, completely... Yeah, yeah. Right, and then so. does My Hero have any movies? Oh, yeah, they have some good ones. They have two. Oh, yeah, there is one that's canon that yeah, I have not we gotta seen. we got to watch those at some point. I have not like, seen I, one. I've seen one of them. There's two of them. But, yeah, yeah. dude, it was great. I have anyway. not seen that one. But, yeah, but like, yeah, it was very weird to me that, like, they wrote a movie, made a movie with the same kind of episodes in this series. I have never seen anyone else do that. I don't know other animes. Um, a lot do it. Uh, Treasure's Bizarre Adventure did it with their first two that series. Movie? Uh, it's the same exactly like this. They just made a compilation film. Uh, uh, I Phantom's like, Blood. Okay, and I feel like that would have been a lot. Season. I feel like that would have been easy because those two seasons are short. Uh, yeah, Phantom's Blood is, and I guess that makes sense. Battle of Tennessee's. You need to watch the series because uh, oh, the I, movie I, doesn't I, do it just I've as caught much. Up, I've caught up on all of JoJo. I've, oh, have you really? Mm-hmm. Why didn't we watch some more JoJo? Anyway, we <laughs> get <laughs> off topic. Um, yeah, so they did the same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, there's been others that have done it. I uh, can't remember. Uh, Attack on Titan did it. I haven't watched those either. I didn't um, know they had those. And then for like, those listening, as far as you know, I haven't even seen Attack on Titan, so I don't know what it's like. Bro. I, I'm, I'm going to. Really watch, I'm going to. You but just I, actually, you know. They, but yeah, it is a common thing. It's just, yeah, people ignore him because why would you watch him if you already right. seen the series? I mean, you're gonna, you might as well binge because episodes just take more time character development. Is, you know. I think I've seen stuff like stuff like these kind of movies are supposed to include like a little bonus, like a, maybe a little bonus scene or a little. I didn't answer. see any bonus scenes. Okay, I wouldn't know. There was like no bonuses. It was everything I've seen, and yeah, so I was like, yeah, you know. But I overall, no, it's not an anime review, but I really like this anime a lot. I think this one is really good. Yeah, what ma- um, what makes it? Because you told me you don't, you haven't really watched any other sports anime. Why are you so into this one? I don't know. I don't know what it was. I think it's because the animation and the way it like works. Okay, keep going. You know, you know like the animation. No, we'll get to that. In a bit. <laughs> you know, you know exactly why. But keep going. Uh, I do like the animation, but there's something. But it's like compared to other sports animes, I just feel like this one isn't really over the top. You know, like the there's, basketball one and the soccer one, like those superpower stuff. I'm there's like, there's literally a season called Over the Top. <laughs> what? Yeah, one of the seasons of IQ is called no, Over no, the no, Top. No, 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 no. I mean, like they don't have like special powers. I know what you're talking you know, about. Like, oh, to yeah. the top. Never mind. Yeah, to the top. Yeah, D- completely different. Uh, but Still it's like similar. you know, these sports. You know, this one in particular, IQ doesn't. You know, doesn't have like any super crazy like dumb superpower thing that makes it look insane that's true you know like these like volleyball this is used like in person live and they definitely looked over it you know but they took the research just much like the like the like the series um you're like in april you know i don't know if you i don't know if you knew that wait but uh, like as far as like the piano and violin stuff like it's accurate because they studied someone who actually played it i didn't pay that much attention to it. oh yeah it's all accurate i was like oh that's nice no yeah so, if you watch Your Light April, and you look at the piano stuff and the violin playing, it's all accurate. The bowings, the notes, everything is right. Oh. Um, so, fun Should fact. pay more attention. That was and one so, of the first anime I watched. Was it? Whenever I first started my Crunchyroll subscription. Oof, man. That was a long anywho, part. That, and, 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 that, and that's what I like about Haikyuu, because it's realistic, and like these things happen in real life. And it's like, yes, some of it can be crazy. They, they, they you know, um, fluff it up a little bit. But to the most part, it's like 
really accurate with like tactical decisions and what they do, what they call things and whatnot. That's why I'm attracted to this. Mm. Okay. I'm going to take your word for it because I know nothing about volleyball. I mean, you actually played volleyball a little bit though, right? I did. I played... I played Wait. at church, and I played uh, when I was rushing a fraternity. I did play for a little bit. Yes. Oh, Wait, really? Yeah. I don't remember that. Was that undergrad or masters? Undergrad. Oh, I don't remember that. I don't know. We played soccer together. That's right. For a bit. That was fun and stupid. <laughs> That's what anime should be made about. That's right. That, that was the, that was such a dumb thing we did. But that's not volleyball. That was soccer or football. Um, I know nothing about volleyball. Here is my history of volleyball. I am pretty sure at one point I've held a volleyball. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have watched Castaway. Okay. Um, and we are Castaway. <laughs> it's, that's not a movie, there. is it? Ahoy. Is it? We are Castaway. No, it's a song. <laughs> okay. From Backyard Games. Oh, so I know Wilson. Oh, is it? Oh, wait. No, that's Little Iron Sounds I was thinking. The rocket ship one. No. Anywho, go on. <laughs> Anyways, um, and then I, as a middle schooler, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I remember watching like the girls' volleyball team play because I was a, uh, a child going through puberty, and that's was a cool thing to do. So I'm pretty sure I watched like middle school girl b- volleyball, but that's as far as my knowledge goes with right. volleyball. So I know absolutely nothing. I the, the thing think, the thing about volleyball is like it's actually really easy to play. Like. The goal is they can only hit it three times on your side. Oh, is it? I before you get, point. yeah, you have to get it over. You have to hit it three times, at least, or max. Sorry, max. At least max. No, that, no, that no, would no. be pretty interesting. No, <laughs> max <laughs> three times. Uh, bef- you know, until you can hit it over. Um, you just don't let it touch the ground. That's really it. You can do whatever you want. I think the part I knew is like the same person can't touch it twice in a row. Yeah, same person cannot okay. touch it twice in a row. So you can you can play with like four people. You know, two on two. That's what the, that's what the Olympics do. Mm, two mm-hmm. on two. So it's like you really don't need that many people. You know, unlike soccer, you need, you need. I mean, you can still have two on two, but it's better to have you know four people or three. Or you know, when you play baseball, you need a huge team. Football, you need a big team. Hockey, you need a big team. Tennis, yeah, one on one, but you need like more equipment. You know, for volleyball, I mean, you can really just use you can use a fence. That's what a lot of kids do. You know, when I was in Mexico. For a little bit, I see kids playing volleyball using a fence. You know, they don't have a net or anything. They use the fence. Makes, sense. You know, makes it a lot of fun. You know, volleyball is really cheap to do, and you know, much like soccer, it's cheap. You just need a ball, and you can find something. You're good to go. You know. Gotcha. So I, I, I think I think volleyball is great. I miss playing it. Um, <clears throat> I have a my girlfriend's friend. She's in a volleyball league. I've been meaning to get into it. Oh. Since I've been watching Haikyuu, I'm like, ooh, I'm about to whip everyone's asses. <laughs> but I will probably not. <laughs> I feel like I would be great because you told me most volleyball players are six feet. I am perfect yeah, for that. It's a, it's, a, it's a tall sport. Uh, yeah, I'm tall. I'm not very well active as a person in Can general, you? but I feel like when it comes to sports, I could do something. Yeah, so I'm probably never going to play volleyball. I do regret uh, not watching more volleyball when I was in Hawaii because they have some nice looking volleyball players. Uh, some tall volleyball players, which uh, I'm six foot three. If I ever see a chick taller than me, I pretty much just instantly fall in love. Ooga, ooga. I mean, that is. I think tall chicks are awesome. Women are not objects, by the way. We do not come down. You so you made the noise. I know. Uh, uh, yeah, but I mean, you're right. <laughs> I'm just saying. I think it's really cool. Uh, and yeah, I never. See I never watched any of the volleyball there. I would see them practice what whenever the hell, I walked by. I know it was beach what volleyball. What it was nice. It's like me going to England and then not watching any football matches. Like that's like the epicenter, like the best like football teams, soccer teams in the world. Is it really? I yes. feel like uh, it'll be a lot more fun to go to Brazil. I feel I feel like the matches are a lot more intense. Yes, the matches are intense in other countries, but as far as like best team quality goes, no, I don't care about that. England, I don't care how good the team is. I want that crowd vibe. And you get I, England team too, man. You just gotta. Find I'm sure. Uh, I don't know. I haven't ever watched much soccer, football either. Uh, you don't watch sports in general. Yeah. Yeah. Unless I'm, it's I'm an anime. Sports guy. I'm a if, big it's, sports guy. if it's an anime, I'll so, watch it. The question is now: Are you going to continue to watch this, or are you no longer interested in hiking? 
That's what I thought. That's what I no, thought. No, I am you going to watch movie. it. Okay, okay. I will watch it because I started it. Okay. And I have to finish everything. I was, anything I get more than one episode into, I will watch yeah, all Yeah, you technically watch 12 episodes, so yes. <laughs> no, I mean, kind of. I don't know if I would say technically watch 12 episodes, but roughly... I got 12 episodes worth of... But the thing is, like, once you movie. watch that movie, it actually does get better for, like, the series and everything. Oh, I'm sure it's a great series. Like, the beginning was a little hard to watch just because it was... I mean, like, all anime is slow, you know? But actually, with this one... My problem isn't that I never want to watch it. The problem is, by the time I got around to wanting to watch it, it was already a few seasons in. Do you know how many anime seasons or series I watch each season? No. Usually around 28. Every season. I usually pretty much I watch almost every new series that comes out. So starting a series that's already been going has been a little <laughs> hard. Uh, I've been trying it with other stuff. So this has definitely been on my watch list. Right. It's just the th- the thing the thing now is it's like now, now they're on a topic of hike. You it's like sports anime. Have you watched any more any other sports anime? Oh yeah, I watch a lot. I, I like I said, I watch all the this, new ones. Is this my first sports anime that I've seen? I have not seen anything else. I have watched so many. I watched a badminton one. I watched a rock climb one. I watched comedy, burning comedy, which came out last season. That was a really cool one. I watched a soccer one. I, it's about a guy who's uh, doesn't like to be touched or whatever, or a clean freak or something. I can't remember what the name of it was. Uh, I watched. Uh, I watched a whole bunch. But they usually never stick out to me. Burning Comedy is probably the fir- no the Rock Climber one. I can't remember the name of it. The Rock Climber and Burning Comedy are the two sports mm-hmm. ones that have stuck out to me. I remember now. I really enjoyed. It. Even though I can't remember the name of the Rock Climber one. Um, that was a really cool one. Just because I like climbing shit. Mm-hmm. I used to climb all kinds of shit. Uh, but yeah, I mean, in real life sports, I used to be... Real life sports. Real life, as opposed to what sports? <laughs> Animated sports. Fake sports. The drinking sports. If there was a drinking sport, a, comp- a competitive drinking anime sport... What a, I mean, that's probably like beer fest, but animated. You yeah, know? I'll be super down for that. Um, I don't know if you consider cooking a sport, but there's Food Wars, and I watch that Oh, Food lot. Wars is... Yeah, really it's good. great. Uh so this is a competition. I guess it depends on how you define sports versus competitions. Yeah. Because I, I, I said earlier, Philippines won gold in women's weightlifting. I don't consider weightlifting a sport. I consider it a competition. Yeah. Because, I, I mean, sports, I don't know. I won't be able to describe it properly here. But it's like a more of a immediate head-to-head kind of competition. Whereas, like... Weightlifting is you take turns to do a single objective, and then you let the next person step up and do it. It's not more right. like I, I don't know if that makes any sense. So super proud. I I, I completely respect weightlifters one because I've seen like weightlifting other weightlifting competitions, strongman competition, all that kind of stuff. They are ridiculously strong, and I completely respect for them because I can never do that. But yeah, it's a. Uh, a difference between sports and a competition. But sports anime, yeah, I am fine with it. Not my favorite genre. Sports in my life, honestly can't give a shit about. <laughs> it's fine. It's when I watch, because, you know, I used to watch, like, the Super Bowl, and I've watched the World Cup and mm. and all that stuff. And But as far as, like, watching it through a regular season, you're like, nah, I don't do that. I don't as far as, like, it's a big event. It's not even that it's a big event. It's the fact that there's people... I'm doing more for getting together with people and just ah, enjoying the occasion. Okay, so, so it's more like a social thing. Yeah, it's a social ah, thing. Okay, That's the only reason sense. I've ever watched it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I, I definitely want to watch more sport anime. And I think with me right now, I'm in a rut where it's just like, I don't want to I don't want to find new anime. <sighs> I'm comfortable where I'm at. I know. I'm very what happens when you anime. finish them all? I just rewatch them. I'm in that, that comfortable that. state, that anxiety that I, I have. I know it's not anime, but I rewatch The Magician's. <laughs> Yep. Almost nonstop. If I'm not watching anime, I'm watching the magicians. But yeah, I get so that. So speaking of anxiety, thank you to our sponsor, uh, Therapy. Whoever you are, you can find uh, them wherever I think you are. There's Calm. I think Calm. Calm. Whatever. Uh, they're not our actual sponsors. Just find, just find whoever you want. If you need if you need help about anything, pillow, pillow. Uh, alcohol, alcohol. No, don't. I mean, maybe. Um, if that's your thing. But uh, yeah, 
And thank you for sponsoring alcohol. And alcohol, therapy. thank you for being the biggest uh, enjoyment in my life. That's right. That's right. Does that sound depressing? No. No. I like you. I don't drink. Out of, this is a different thought. I don't drink out of depression. I drink because I enjoy it. So let's make that clear. That's right. I drink because I like it, not because I need it. Uh, and just because of the fact that if I go a few days without drinking, it gets all weird and I don't feel good. I drink because I need it. I didn't hear what you said. What did you tell them? I'm going to hear this in the editing. <laughs> uh, but Mark that time. It's 43.30. That's, that's the time stamp where I whispered. Well, I'm going to hear I'm going to hear where you whispered before you say what the time stamp was. Oh, sorry. I made that 4322. <laughs> what? I don't, I don't even know if they're going to hear this. Oh, they're probably going to hear this. I'm going to keep stupid stuff like this. Um, so, so dumb. Uh, uh, wait, how many seasons are there of IQ? Five? Right now there's five, but we're not, we're not even done. It's not done yet? I thought I did it. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought they finished the... No, they wait, got to the they they win. Now, I don't know if the Wait, is. they got to win. Are you saying they haven't won yet? They have, they're, they're still on Nationals right now. What? Wait. Are you telling me the next three seasons is just them and Nationals? Yeah, they're competing, yeah. Why is it taking so long? Because they got to watch the matches, you know? And the other thing about wait, IQ, that, wait, which is really great... they're watching the other teams' matches? No, no, no. They're playing oh. the teams. It's not just like a speed through, you know, oh. run through. Because it shows, like... I wish I would do more of that, though. More See, what? other teams. I know, like... I don't remember the name of the school. I know they're the main one, but it would be cool to see some of the other teams. Okay, but that's the thing. Here's this is what I was going to talk about. The thing that makes IQ also great is that, like you get an ins- insider perspective on the other team. Like there have been moments I caught myself not sure who I wanted to root for anymore because you the other team's personality is so good too. You know, like it, it, even in the middle of a match, it'll also like maybe for like half an episode, it'll talk about the other team for a second. You know, it'll talk oh. about them and their personality, which is really cool. Oh, but you don't really get yeah. that from a lot of animes at all. Really, you don't yeah. get you don't get the the other opposing side. Um, but like, it makes it got me invested, and I was like, oh my god, I really want them to win now. Like, since I like yeah, them, it makes you conflicted. yeah, and it conflicted. And like when when you know the team loses, I'm just like I, I feel hurt because I know how much how badly they wanted to win, and we all we all have that competitive nature to where ooh number five. I think. We get that, you know, we really want to win, and so, like, it makes me feel, it makes me feel for them, like, when we want to win or lose. But also, this anime, anime in general, life lessons, you know, and it's just like, in, no matter what field you're in, I mean, I'm in the field of music, so, like, being competitive and going, going, going and losing and then getting better, like, I, I just resonate with that a lot, because, you know, I've been rejected several times from jobs, you know, whatever I'm doing, you know, I've been rejected, and it makes me want to get better each time, and seeing progress go... Is like really fun. It's really cool, and I've seen the anime as well. Like I just resonate with it, and I feel for it, which is why I get emotional during anime because like I see myself becoming. And of course, a protagonist is always supposed to reflect a normal person. You know, that's Do you what feel that, short. No, I don't feel short. I'm not as short as Hinata. He's like five four. I'm like I'm five ten. I add an extra inch. Um, but not to his, <laughs> not to his height though. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that, that, that's that's why I really love anime. It's like I, I just get more emotionally attached to the character and stuff of what they do. I don't like life to me. Like Grey's Anatomy, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, okay, Friends, fuck Grey's get, Anatomy. Get the fuck out of here. Friends is okay, but fuck Grey's Anatomy. If you're gonna watch a medical show, watch Scrubs. But that's not what this podcast is about. <laughs> I will say though, talking about animation versus like live action, there's something about putting yourself in this like realm of. Uh, this fictional realm where it's like animation is something you know isn't real but it makes you think now I've talked about this in all kinds of stuff but when you see something live action you see something that's considered non-fiction you're kind of trained to just assume okay this is real but I can't relate to it but it makes it look cheesy though yeah it makes it look cheesy but when it's something not real when it's fiction and when it's animated and you're like, oh, this is nice, and I enjoy it, but it's also, it makes you think. It's like, well, if this was real, what if I could connect? What? And that's the thing. It's like, you don't want a live action to tell you what it would look like. You yeah. want to imagine how it could look exactly. like. That, that is exactly what I'm talking about. And, yeah, so I'm not into nonfiction or too many live actions. 
Yeah, I, that, really, yeah. I really hope they never make a live action IQ. There are actually okay. You say you don't like. You hope it doesn't turn into a live action. I know it's really hit or miss. If we, I mean, if we look at Death Note as an example, that was terrible. But I will say there are some series that have come out that are, if you haven't read the source material, they're actually pretty good live action series. And I feel like with, I mean, it might be hard with a sports anime. No, with Haikyuu, I feel like I mean, it's sports volleyball. That's the thing. Yeah, it, you know, it could it, be it, good. It, like I said, it's reflected on like the real life thing. But as far as like some of those key moments that just look so cool, it's like I don't know if it'd be e- hard, easy to replicate. You know? Yeah. Like other movies like Full Metal Alchemist, it's hard to replicate a lot of those things. Um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure with those stands and stuff, like it's hard to really uh, get yeah. the feeling of that. Um, what or the other? Harman. Yeah. It's just I like, like the I like Battlefield season is my favorite. Yeah, but but I mean I've watched um, Alice in Borderland. That's on Netflix. That's mm-hmm. a really good one. I haven't read the manga though, so I don't know how well it compares. Right. But that's a really good live action series. So if you haven't watched that, I recommend that. It's really cool. Uh, but there's a few other. You just gotta look. But man, some of them just really fuck it up. And I was yeah, like, I don't know really why bad. you. You just yeah, um, like I don't know why they felt a need to make a live action English version, especially of Death Note. Yeah, that was terrible. Like I don't know that was, what I don't know reason there was for it or whatever, but I just couldn't get with it. I was like, Whoa. I feel like we should make the entire podcast of just shitting on that movie. But I mean, honestly, that, yeah. I feel like that is just such an obvious one that everyone knows at this point. Yeah, I don't know people who don't watch anime but watch Death that Death Note live action. Yeah, still thought it was but terrible. Anywho, word from our sponsors. Uh, thank you, Crunchyroll, for sponsoring this podcast <laughs> and letting us watch uh, uh, High Q. So for those listening, use the promo code Suck My Dick for a free fourteen day trial. <laughs> okay, you were doing so well. <laughs> no, okay, Crunchyroll. No, seriously, we did watch this on Crunchyroll. <laughs> And if you want to sponsor us, thank you. That was a joke. You seem like a cool company. Hopefully, you don't get bought out by Sony and completely disappear. I've been using Verve. Unless Crunchyroll, you get your stuff together, Verve is taking control, baby. Crunchyroll is on Verve. Exactly. That's why I might as well just use Verve. It's a partnership. I know it's a partnership. I think you can get a cheaper yearly description through Crunchyroll. I don't watch anything else on Verve, though. Uh, Sorry. That's completely off topic. (laughs) Yeah, staying in. But staying in, <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> so uh, there's other stuff I want to talk about. So you mentioned the animation earlier, and I, oh, yeah, yeah, I grimaced was... facially, and then I oh, made some that's right. that's So right. you know exactly what I want to say. The fact that they okay, the animation overall is fine. Um, there was a one point that they did like a, more of a sketch kind of anime uh, with one of the other teams fighting or whatever, which was. It was a cool, a cool. That's change. that's in the movie though. That's not in the actual series though. Is it? Yeah. Do you, do you know, know what I'm talking about? about? Yes. Okay. So it was like a completely different art style change, um, which was weird. It was fine. It was cool, and I liked that kind of style. It was just a fair. But the thing I'm complaining the most about the entire time was the fact that their faces look like they're going through the net. Anytime, okay. Anytime so it shows them hold on, looking stop, through the pause. net. The net disappears and it just looks I like their faces now. gone through. I have the mic. I am the captain now. I don't think you're talking through the drip. So, same end. We took recording techniques together and you're talking through the wrong end. My apologies. The, you, um, <laughs> my apologies. I am the captain now. So. I was talking about the movie earlier. So, the thing he's having an issue with, you know, it's like volleyball. We all know how a volleyball net looks like, right? Like, cross, like, squares, lines, and stuff. Cool. So when you're making an anime, the person's not going to just move out of the way and talk into the camera or whatever, right? So you're going to make use. Me, personally, I do not have a problem. What he's saying is that he's he hates how the line just disappeared to, sh- yeah. to show the face. Yeah, that's weird. I don't like that. It is weird. I do agree. But it works in this anime because, like I mentioned earlier, you're getting an inside look on the opponent's, you know, their facial features or emotion and just like... It's a lot of stuff to work on. Like once they score, like if someone scores a point on you, you want to look at that team and give them a look, right? And that is the point of using, you know, cutting out the, you know, the lines or whatever and the, the net, and so you can look at him and stare them down without really having that net, you know, be in the way. I mean, yeah, 
I, I get it when the main person isn't talking, but they would do it for almost every character. I just think it's even the background, the win, even the background characters, the ones who aren't talking, who aren't doing anything. You would still see like the weird, like little oval over their face where the net isn't there anymore. It's like there's no need for them to do that. I feel like it's. I don't know. If, I, I'm not an animator. I don't draw, but I feel like it'll be easier if you just. You know, let the net be over their face. Yeah. Nobody's paying attention to those characters. Fuck them. They're not saying or doing anything. But I, I understand it for the main one. Whoever's talking, okay, I still want the net to be there because that makes more sense. Mm-hmm. I feel like it'll be even more intimidating, if anything, the fact that they're talking through a net instead of this weird, almost an optical illusion where it looks like they're face is going through the net somehow but this, this there, were, you there was a focus few on their face okay okay there's a few times i will laugh because it looked like their face was straight up just like traveling through the net i was like this is ridiculous like the guy there's a scene with the guy that like spikes it too hard i will not listen to this man this man has not has not watched this man has not watched volleyball and never took it seriously i play volleyball i know what i'm talking about i'm an expert in this song all the times your face is face through the net that's what I thought. I don't think we can hear you. Uh, so. I'm not that boss. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I get it. It's just, I don't know. I, as much as I say I like the fact of this fictional and the animation, I also like some realism. I like. I would like the fact if the net stayed there <laughs> instead of them looking. Maybe if they can make it look like they weren't going through the net. Because that was my biggest problem. wasn't. Maybe not even the fact that the net was gone in that weird circle area. The fact that it looked like their face was going through it. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. I mean, it, it, it just doesn't bother me, at least. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I think it bothered me because I knew about it going in. Yeah. I knew nothing about the show except for that except for that fact. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to take a break. Uh, thank you to, and say a word thank you to our sponsor. Thank you to our sponsor, Wilson. <laughs> Uh, the soft, the volleyball company, not softball. Sorry, I'm getting sports confused. Volleyball to providing us with all these. You know, I know you can't see them. We have a bunch of balls over here. All these volleyballs. We like, have at least four. At least forty in here. We have at least uh, four balls. They're all over here, right here, sitting right here. And uh, thank you, Wilson, for supporting us. And we'll get back right here. I'll so, not a sponsor, but keep going. So yeah. Um, so I know you mentioned about the animation. So here's here's. I want to ask you this. How do you feel about? I know, I know, I know. You may, you, you may know what I'm talking about, so we'll, so we'll listen. That's not what I'm talking about. I'll keep going. Um, what, how do you feel about, you know, series, animations, switching animators? Oh, yeah. No, I do know stuff about that. I usually don't notice. Really? Unless the, it, the biggest thing I've heard is Seven Deadly Sins. That's the biggest one that I've heard. Like, the animation went downhill. Which season? I, I haven't noticed. So, which season did they switch? I, I, I've, I know I've Attack on Titan switched switch from Attack on Wix Titan to, to, to Mappa. Mappa. Mappa, yeah. Uh, but, uh, I don't... The only reason I know that is because Wix, that's their one, right? They did uh, High School of the Dead, which was one of my favorite animes. Mm. And, which is why it confuses me as to why I never watched Attack on Titan. Also because... The composer is also for a lot of stuff I've done. Uh, hint, hint to foreshadowing. But uh, did they switch animators in Haiku? Haiku, I think they did because the anima- either that or the animation got worse. Because there was like a scene where I'm just like, what is this animation going on right now? Like, I think once you watch more of it, you'll realize it. But. Uh-huh. I guess we could Google that, but I don't feel like... Don't Neither know. do I. So, viewers, let us know. Smash that like button. Comment down below what you think. Uh, and then subscribe. Let us know. But, yeah, yeah it's like... I, I know, like, some, like, series, like, animator Switch. You know? I don't know why. But it's just the way it is. I don't know why either. I know for Attack on Titan, the reason why they switched was because um, the person in charge of animation stuff was, like... Like, oh, no, the manga writer... He wanted the animation to be finished at the same time the manga was. Really? Yeah, he wants it to be done like at the same time. That's what I've heard. I actually own all the manga and all the light novel stuff because Katakawa, wait, is that the one who did it? I'm pretty sure. Whichever, whoever uh, owns Attack on Titan, they did a charity thing um, where they s- sold all the Attack on Titan series 
uh, for like 20 bucks digitally, and I bought the entire thing. Oh, damn. So I own all that, and I started reading the manga. So that's the only thing I know about Attack on Titan. So I don't know, I don't even remember how many volumes the manga has. <laughs> but, um, yeah, all so. I know is because they're wanting, like, the animation to catch up with the manga. And like, because the manga for the Attack on Titan is not done. You know that. It's not. I don't think. I'm pretty sure it's not. I don't remember. I know the it's on its final season of the anime. It, it has, has the season. last. Yes. The last half of the fourth season is supposed to come out next year. I think. I thought it was supposed to come out in the winter. Which will be next year. The winter season doesn't start. That's until right. The beginning. The I know it's a weird thing. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So. Yeah, the animation for RQ, I thought it was fine. I mean, like I said, I only watched this first movie. This, or not even the first movie. This is the third movie of, I think, four, or maybe even more. It's the, they had two for the first season, and then two for the second season. We didn't even watch the second one for the second season, so it keeps going. I don't know, I can't remember if they made more for that. So, I guess for a final verdict, uh, did... It's, I assume you're saying watch the series, not the movie. Yes. Okay. If a, would it ever be worth watching this movie? No. Um, more quotes. Really? You just miss out on a lot. Okay. So like when they were at the other camps facing the other teams, you see the other players working on what they wanted to work on. They're trying new stuff, meeting players, like talking to here and there. You know, like forming relationships. Like mm. um, there was one Bakuto. Is one player is a spiker that Hinata really looks up to, but they work together during mm. exactly. You wouldn't have known that. No, I don't know that. Movie, right? I don't know what you're and so about. when you come back to the series and after watching the movie, you'd be like, "What the hell's going on? Like, I don't know who this guy is." And like other characters like that, well, also working with other players, learning new stuff. You know, so you miss a lot of like. It's basically you're missing the montages of like them working, and I like watching montages. Like if it's mm. like, it's not quite filler, but it's not quite canon. It's like partial canon. Mm. You know, like what, what you watch is fine. I mean, you got through an hour and a half. Yeah, you, know, you see, that you it was say, even less than that. Yeah, it was say, like an hour and yeah, twenty-nine you say minutes. Literally, you know, like three hours of anime. You know, yeah. So it's like you got you yeah, get the most like, part. Yeah, but it's like I I I would just rather sit down and just watch and just binge. You know, is that what we should uh, just watch through? I wouldn't need to have gotten to your place at like eleven o'clock. <laughs> I get you. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Uh, watch the series. I'm going to watch the series. I mean, I know you already watch the series. Uh, movies, I don't understand them. Even now, after watching this, don't understand why they make these compilation films. Right. They uh, make yeah. absolutely no sense. <laughs> Stop doing it. It's a waste of time. And uh, even if people are catching up, why would you catch up with this film? Just watch a different... No, to watch a series, watch it do an actual movie. Um, I mean, we talked. I, th- I think I remember us talking about Demon Slayer and Mugen Train. That was a great example of doing like right. a second season it's, or a sec a mo- a direct sequel to the first season. But the thing that sucks about it is like I have to go out and try to like find and buy the movie somewhere to watch it. We can talk about that later. But it's like I mean, I, I didn't watch it in theaters. I wanted to, you know. But you know, COVID and stuff. You know, it just, it's just whatever. Uh, so there's new Delta variant and Gamma. All these sorority uh, and fraternity uh, variants coming out. Uh, please continue to wear your mask, even if you are vaccinated. Uh, even though those who do not believe it, uh, you're wrong. Sorry. Uh, actually, no, I'm not sorry. You're just flat out wrong. Uh, so please wear your mask wherever you go to reduce the spread of it, even if you are vaccinated, um, to prevent more sickness and spread to it. I want to get back. Um, to normalcy as soon as possible. Can you even imagine? Because so, it's hard for me to nowadays. Yep. But I feel like that's a good stopping point with that very <laughs> real <laughs> yep. message. Um, so thank you. For real, thank you so much um, for joining me and watching some high some volleyball and doing this podcast with me. It's it's always so fun to do this stuff with friends. Um, and I'm so glad uh, you can make time to do this with me. And especially to drink. We drink while watching it. We drink while doing this podcast. It just turns out a whole lot of chaotic mess. A whole lot of... <clears throat> just a whole lot of fun. But, yeah. Thank you. No, yeah. Thanks for having me, AC. And, uh...
Tune in next week. Not next week. It's a, it's a uh, bi-weekly podcast. But yeah, tune in next time. Um, yeah. Um, if you want to find more of me, you can uh, find me at uh, The AC Stories on most pla- most social medias. Instagram is a little different because of bitterness. It's The AC underscore uh, wait, the underscore AC underscore stories um, on Instagram. You can answer all our questions. <laughs> we said so much stuff about volleyball drinks and whatever other random nonsense we said. Um, e- email me that stuff. If there's not a comment section available for you at the AC stories at Gmail or really any email provider. And yeah, I'll, I'll probably just mine. I don't know. Uh, I'll, if it's something to do with Carlos, I'll get in touch with you. Yeah, and you can find me on my OnlyFans, uh, BeanerBoner69. Um, I hope that's a real thing. It will be soon be. If you guys are interested, I'll make one. Um, let me know what you want. Um, I'll probably charge maybe $100 for the first week um, and do weekly rates that way. I need to make them some money. You know, all I do right now is lift on the side. I don't have a job. I'm not pie this stuff. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you're interested. Smash the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Exactly what so. he said. And until next time, I'm the AC. Uh, my name is Carlos. <laughs> and thank you so much for listening. Bye. See you bisexually. I mean, bi-weekly. Bye.